Hey, it's me, Duke here from the future. Well, past now, but the next day after the video you're about to watch. I just want to do a quick content warning and PSA for this video. As you can see, I've even written a script and everything, so you know it's important. Content warning is that while playing this game, cultural awareness, I refer and briefly discuss events of genocide, colonialism, and circumcision, and reference enslaved peoples and the slave trade. These are pretty dark, and if you can't deal with it, I'd skip it. All right, so the next issue is gambling. Gambling is terrible, leads to ruined lives. I had a fun time playing the games in this video purely because I had an audience and could say silly things like, it was odd last time, so it'll be even this time, which is an example of the gambler's fallacy. You'll probably hear that from people, well, gambling. I lost nothing of the value playing the game and had a good time making the video, so I didn't, uh, I didn't have any money or time or anything of effort that I cared about to lose. But when it comes to gambling with actual things of value, like money, you lose a lot by design. This can sometimes be simple and obviously gambling like slot machines, or complex like roulette where it just seems like this strategy. I'm not sure if blackjack is technically gambling, as by counting cards you can estimate which cards come next and defeat the gambling part. Uh, but if you do that, you get kicked out of the casino. Ultimately, gambling is based on two facts that are hard to understand. The first is that random numbers are unpredictable. So like if you flip a coin and it comes up heads, it doesn't make the next or even the hundredth coin flip afterwards more likely to be tails. The second is that large numbers of random odds average out to their probabilities. On its face, this seems paradoxical. If you flip a coin 20 times, you may end up getting heads each time. But if you flip a coin 20 million times, you'll see around half of them being heads and half being tails. There's probably a lot of scientific explanations for this, but in the narrow context of gambling, what's important to understand is that while you can play for a long, long time gambling and eventually get an equal distribution of probabilities, you can't predict the order. Ultimately, gambling is founded on this imbalance. It matters to you what the order is because you're attempting to predict the next number so you can place bets on it. But for the casino or house, as they say, what matters to them is that there's more losses than wins. And that's something they can, for the most part, guarantee. At this point, it's worth pointing out that gambling games aren't just random chance, unless it's something like a slot machine. This helps hide the whole you're going to lose thing by giving you rules and choices to think about. But more importantly, these rules are generally weighted to make you bet more, not as in more often, but larger amounts. Often it helps you get into the kind of a death spiral of losing money and making bigger bets to make that money back. Or winning big from those bets and deciding to continue playing now that you have some resources to waste. So please keep this in mind and don't take anything in this video as more than entertainment and uh, don't gamble. All right, off we go. Hopefully the shout sound should sound a little bit better today we're going to be playing a little bit of dos games everyone likes dos games let's uh open up the old dos junk folder and run dosbox let's see can we make this full screen yeah, everyone likes full screen DOS. All right, let's start off with a bit of, uh, I guess, roulette. Hmm. I don't think we can call that number to order it. This is a very old game. Your name. Uh, I don't want people to know I'm doing roulette. So I'm just gonna, ow, oh, okay. Oh, the beep, it's got me. How do I turn that off? Ah, uh, sound, no sound, please. Okay, thank you. Your name. 
Mr. J. Start money. I only have like a hundred dollars. Which seat do we want to sit at? I want to sit closest to the wheel, so I'll be on seat five. How many other players? Zero. You'll sit at chair five, zero others will play. Wait, no, I want computer players. Um, five, I guess four. I think it fills them in with just regular computer players. So zero, no, no other players. Oh no, it's just me gambling alone. I thought there was going to be computer, computers there, computer players, but it's just me. Okay, I guess it's the depressing gambling stream. Um, let's do an inside bet. Um, <laughs> lonely jukes, yeah. Already my gambling stream is depressing. Um, let's bet on a single number. Oh, I've got to use the mouse, I think. Straight up. Um, let's go for lucky black 11, but if anyone has other suggestions, um, I'm happy to hear them. Two, you want me to go on number two? Yeah, all right. With two chips. Um, that's $50, which is half my money. So I think I also should put it on like a color too, like red. No, how do I, um, Three numbers, four numbers, line. Oh, this is an inside bet. I want to do an outside bet and I want to bet on, I guess I'll bet on <laughs> two, 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 two based. Um, let's at least try and bet on a color. Um, I'm going to bet on, well, I've already done like two and 11 are black. So let's bet on red, uh, red and black. I'll put it on red. And I'll put two chips on it. All right. Time to make some money, huh? Oh, come on. Um, spin the wheel, please. All bets down. Oh, the wheel's spinning. Oh. Where's it gonna land? Red, red 34. Okay, so I got, I got chips. I won something, I think. Uh, one inside zero, one outside 20. Amount lost 50. Okay, that didn't work too well. How does gambling fit into capitalism? Well, I think it's because you always lose. Hmm. Ah, damn. All right, let's 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 go bet again. Um, let's bet for some ranges of numbers. Oh, please, let me, did the game freeze? What's happened? Oh, repeat bets or select, oh, I just tabbed out of focus, I'm sorry. Someone's messaging me on the internet. Um, let's do another outside bet. Do you love your terrifying, terrifying polygonal form? Yeah, the, it's really extremely strange that I look like that. Um, I'm down $30, so I need to make that back. Now, if we bet on, let's do for a 50-50, like let's bet even, even number, um, even number, how many chips? Chip value is 10. So we need to make that 30 back, but we need to make a little bit extra. So let's bet four chips on even. Total bet, 110. Spin the wheel. Wait, I've still got my bets on red and black. Oh no. I bet, I bet way more money than I have. Red? Well, I had two chips on red and it's one, but it's not even. Okay. So what, what do I finance that? I've lost $90. Okay. Um, not great. I want to select new bets, please. Um, I'm down a hundred dollars. Eights? I don't want to do eights. Okay, I guess I'll do it. 
Um, straight up, just go eight, huh? Uh, I don't know how much money I have. I think it's in the negative. So we'll just do $10 on eight and we're gonna go for uh, even again because last time it was odd. So we're due for even, even, uh, even numbers. Let's do, oh no, we, we need to do an outside bet. And let's do even. And we're gonna put as much money as possible on there. And we're gonna go done and we're gonna spin this wheel and get our money back. Um, let me just see if we can put the sound back on. Sound, no tones please. Balloons, play your vibes, sound blaster. Okay, so I don't actually have a sound blaster, so it's not making noise. All right, time to spin. Let's get our money back, boys. No more bets. It's spinning. Ooh. <gasps> Black four, that's even. How much did I win? How much did I win? I won $50 and lost 10. So we're going back up. We're going back up. Okay, so. Let's press our bet again. Let's do this. Spin the wheel, even again. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh no, oh it's even, it's even. Red 36, it's even. We won $100, we're going, we've got this. Let's remove our bets. I'm up $40, this is a great idea. Let's select some new bets, because now it's gonna be odd, right? That's how numbers work. Um, let's do an outside bet. Jigs hype, odd or even. Oh, my mouse cursor does not like this. Let's just try using the keyboard. I can't use the keyboard for this, can I? No, okay. Um, odd or even? Odd. Um, let's go with odd. So we're gonna put down five chips on odd and we're gonna go for, let's go for black. Five chips on black. Uh, red, black. The game doesn't realize when I click properly. Okay. Click. Black, five chips. Done. Let's spin the wheel. So if we get a black odd, then we're basically, we're sailing. All bets down. Jukes alone at the casino, having a spin. Blackguard, blackguard. Red even, that's exactly what I didn't want. Oof, okay, how much money do I have left? I'm down $60, okay. Um, hmm, I lost $100 in that spin. Uh, let's try. Doing some more bets, eh? Oh, it's not letting me click. I'll oh, select, uh, let's just repeat that bet because I can't possibly have like a red, a red odd again. That's like a 50-50 chance on both of those. So let's spin again. All bets are down. It's spinning. Black even, I knew it. Wait, no, no, I'm on odd, but it's black. So I, I won 50, but lost 50. So that's, that's fine. I'm, I'm still down money, I think. Um, I'm down $60. All right, we're gonna have to step our game up. Inside bet. Um, 
I'm guessing that the amount you get back depends on how risky it is. Yeah, so if we see um, correct odds, something to one, 11.1 to one, 18 to one to split, 37 to one. Well, what we could do is try going for a number. You got any lucky numbers? Um, am I crying at the table in the game? Not very, very nice. Um, 13. You think 13 is going to do it? Um, 13. Um, oh, I'm sobbing at the table. <laughs> it's okay. I haven't lost until I cashed out. So I've bet 30, $30 on 13. And let's just, for, to make up for that, 13 is black. So if we lose, we'll, if we lose that, we'll, I'll do a, I'll do a, um, I'll do a line. So we'll bet on the line that's 23, 22, and 24. Oh no, wait. Yeah, I think it's this line. Or do I have to click on like two to one? Bet on six numbers. Sorry, a line has more than six. Do I have to drag? Um, it's a little unclear how you bet on a line. Do I click on something? Oh, do I have to, do I not press it? I can do this. I guess I can't bet on a line because I can't press the numbers. I'm clicking as hard as I can. It's a little confusing. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not letting me do that. What about corner? Let's go for the corner. Let's go for the, um, oh no, it has street here, which means I guess that we can, oh, I might be clicking on, um, I think I need to click on the edges. Let's go for street. Is that a street? Where do I click? Game. Wait, I just went on zero, zero. Um, I guess I'll put three there. Street, bet on three possible numbers. Ah, oh, so it'd be like a corner. Okay, so it's kind of based on where I can put the chips. Whatever, let's do this. Spin wheel. All bets down. Let's see how we go. Black two. Wait. I bet on two. I I had two. It was it was in the corner that I just did. What do I get? I won $330 and I lost $30. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm up $240. This is it. This is it guys. I've cracked it. Okay, let's bet. Let's do an outside bet. Let's select a new bet. We're not going to bet the same thing because, you know, odds are it won't happen again, right? I'm scamming the house. I'm going to get away with all the money. Um, bet on 12 numbers. Um, yeah, let's do that. Because that's a two to one... Um, Gosh, uh, what is it? Or column. Come on, mouse. Okay, which 12 numbers? I guess the first 12? No, wait, we were already around that area. That's the way the, the, that's where the little dice went last time. So let's do the middle. And we've got money to throw around. 
let's do fifty dollars on that, huh? And uh, then I guess if we waste, if we lose that fifty dollars. Wait, if it pays two to one, does that mean like I lose all the money that I would have gotten? That wouldn't make sense. I have to check that. Um, let's bet on red. This, this keyboard control, I don't know how it works because I hit enter on it and then the mouse cursor pops up and it's like, okay, do you want me to press something on the mouse? But if I move the mouse, it unclicks the thing. So I'm just gonna have to put my arm behind my back. Red. Um, yes, red please. Five chips. So that's a hundred dollars, but wait, there's more. We can do odd and even. So let's do even five chips. $150. Let's do this. Let's do this, spin the wheel. Even, red, second 12. Come on, come on. <gasps> we, got, we got none of those. Absolutely none of those. Not one of them. It's a black 31. That's okay though, that means we can, if we place the bet again, then it'll, it'll happen again, right? Let's repeat the bet. Terrible hype? No, the, the logic is that it just happened now, so, you know, probabilistically it should happen again. So let's, uh, yep, that looks about right. Do the same bet again. Spin, spin, spin. We're drowning in cash. I'm up $90, so this better make me money, otherwise I'm gonna be down money. Okay, even, uh, we got a red 23, and that's in the second 12. So it's not odd, uh, it's not even rather, but it is red and it is in the second 12. What do we get? $150, so we still lost $50, so, um. Not great. We're going to have to probably try some new bets. But I'm up $190. All right. We're going to have to... Uh, let's do a line. Um, here. Or here. I don't know where to click the line. Let's just try clicking to get to the line. That's on six numbers. Oh, it might go on the edge there. Oh yeah. Let's bet, uh, we're gonna go for numbers 13 to 18 and we're going to bet $40. And we're gonna go, f we're probably gonna go for a bit of, uh, probably a bit of, Let's bet, um, let's bet on a dozen since that pays two to one. Zero odd red. Um, hang on. Let's just go for this, the third 12 dozen and let's put 40 on that. And zero odd red. Um, yeah, let's try doing a little bit for red. Come on, it's going to be red. Wait, what color was it last time? Oh my God, the mouse is doing that thing. I need to vote red. No, 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 don't vote red. Or vote red if you want. No, I, I need to do red. I need to pick red. No, it's fine. Oof. Why is all this casino smoke getting to me? Trash mouse, yeah. It's okay, let's spin the wheel. I'm just getting a little stressed out because, you know, I've lost a lot of money and this is my savings, so. I'm alone at the table. Red 25. Oof. 
So that wasn't the second 12, but it was red and it was the third 12, which I voted on. Poor Jukes. Amount lost $40. But I'm up 260, so I got $70 last one. I got $70 from that. All right, but we need to start making bigger. You have to pay it off with special services. No, not special services. Okay, we're gonna have to start betting big now. No, don't make me say that. All right, we're gonna have to bet big. We're gonna bet on a line because that pays five to one. Um, we're gonna do, I guess the middle line. Oh no, um, I'm gonna do the 10, 11, 12 line, I think. Seven to 12, yeah, let's bet five chips on that. So that's $50, but if we make that back, it's good. And now we need to try and get that, we need to double our $200 that we have. So let's put it all on red. I know it's a bit of a gamble, but we need to make money. It's all going on red. Five chips on red. The max bets any type is one. This bet is not recommended. I don't know what that means. I can't bet more on red. That's right, I don't have enough chips. Um, five chips on red. Um, and we'll do the first. I oh, know the table splits in two, so we can do F8 print man. It's print manual. It's not print man. We're not print man. Uh, one to 18, 19 to 36. So let's do that. I found there's a button that will show you where you can press it. So let's bet 19 to 36, but that pays one to one. So why would we want that? Um, we're looking for the big ones. Let's bet on a dozen numbers. Why does it, it really wants to stop me from clicking on stuff. You want to be print man, sequel to Pepsi man, why? It's okay, so I'm trying to, uh, oh yeah, the mouse is just being weird and I don't understand why and I don't like it. Okay, dozen, let's go. Uh, okay, I held the mouse in and I accidentally bet a lot of money on the middle dozen, but that's fine. And we're gonna do an inside bet and we're just gonna split bets on two adjacent numbers. Come on, game, I need to play you. I need that money back. Click. Straight up. Oh, I, I can't play the game. It's not letting me click on stuff. Let's bet 19. Let's bet 19 and 16. Five, fifty dollars Or did I put a hundred dollars there? I don't know, I'm confused about the mouse. Okay, so if it clicks bad, you gotta click bad and then it'll click good. I tried. So we're doing red and numbers 15 to 24, black 17. Oh my God, that's right next to 19 and 16, but not, we missed that. And it's also not red, but it's black. So did we get anything from that? I'm just, I didn't get anything, it all canceled out. That's okay though. Let's try some more inside bets since they have higher probability. Um, select new. Um, and let's do let's just go to help to see if I can use the keyboard for this. Yeah, I have to use the keyboard, uh, mouse. 
That's okay. This is cursed because the mouse, I moved the mouse, but it's not actually where it is on the screen. It just moving the mouse up and down anywhere on the screen moves it up and down in the menu. All right, so let's do. A street, um, let's do a street bet. Cursed gambling, yeah. Let's do a street bet. Correct odds, no wait. Hang on, here's how we're gonna handle it. We're gonna bet on a single number and we're gonna bet as much as possible and then we're gonna try and bet elsewhere to make up for that. Okay, straight up. Please, please mouse. Why, why? I'm clicking once and it's stopping. It doesn't want me to gamble. Hang on, let's close full screen for this. Come on, dust box. Um, straight up. Oh my God, he just won't let me click stuff. What's happened? Why? All right, so if I use the keyboard and then move the mouse, it seems to work. I think, I'm not sure what's happening here, but we will, we will gamble more. $50 on 13. Okay, so what happens if we don't land on 13? Well, we need to make $50 back. So let's try and go for red there. And we'll go for red there with, I guess, $50. I think that might be a net loss if it's, if it's black. So let's just go. Let's spin this wheel and we'll cash out. Black 11, which is none of them. That's not what we had, okay. Uh, we lost $100 there. I think we're gonna have to go in big. I'm still up $160 though, so let's try and, let's go for, let's start doing the dozens, because it's like, that's a third chance, I think. Good gambling. So we're gonna go for the first dozen, and then we're going to go red. We want things that can complement each other, not conflict, otherwise that's kind of uh, waste uh, useless. So let's go red and the first dozen, which are numbers zero through 12. All right. Let's go. Let's also do a row. Um, inside bet. Split. I want to bet on a row, a line. Um, and we'll bet on 25 to 30 and just put maybe $40 there. All right, spin the wheel. Let's do this. Red, 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 yes. Oh, come on, come on. Yes, red 12. Oh my God, so that's red and it's in the first, um, first 12. We won $150, I think, $110 in total. All right, we're back in the game. We're gonna get a streak. It's so late there, it's like 8 p.m. on Sunday here. What do you mean, it's, it's 1 p.m. It's noon, what are you talking about? Um, let's bet on a corner.
Um, let's see. 31, 34, and 35. That's it. That's going to be our corner, I think. Oh, no. Corners can be anywhere. Um, it's just like four numbers at once. So it's more like a square, I guess. Uh, 13 through 13, 14, 17, and 16. Let's go for that. And then let's go for... Um, I guess we'll do that dozen there. And then we'll do black for that. Oops, not inside. All right, black, 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 black. Five chips. And then we'll do the dozen. Five, okay. So $50 on the middle dozen. Then within that dozen, We've got uh, $50 on 13, to 13, 14, 16, and 17. And we've also got $50 on black. Black, black, black. Let's spin it. So ideally, if I win one of the numbers, I win that dozen too. And it stacks. This is going to be so good. Red, zero, one. Hmm, that's none of our bets. In fact, I lost $150 there. Let's repeat the bet though, because it seems like on average, it'll win now. Because if it wasn't anything, and we had a 50-50 on a lot of them, on like the black, then it'll surely be black now. Green, zero, zero. Why is there a green? Since when was there a green? What is green? I want my money back. I wasn't told about what green is. What? Maybe green's any color? And zeros anything? I don't know. Um, let's just spin the wheel again. I think I kept my bets. Did I? No. I've got seventy dollars. Well, I want to be able to get back my hundred dollars and leave in the positives. So let's do. I'll bet on five numbers. Um, I'll bet zero, one, two, three, and double zero. Fifty dollars on that. And I'll also do fifty dollars on on a, a square. So like, uh, let's go for twenty, nineteen, twenty-three, and twenty-two. Effects and simulations, yeah. Like, maybe this is weighted a bit wrong. Okay, time to spin. Spin, 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 spin. Come on. Please. <gasps> Black 17? No, that wasn't anything. Oh, how much money do I have? I'm down thirty dollars. Oh, got to. Let's go back to our strategy that was working before. We're gonna bet on the dozen. Um, outside bet dozen, middle dozen. This will be fine. We just need to get back up to that hundred dollars we started with. Um, middle dozen, even. Um, odd even. 
All right. And we'll go for, that's a hundred dollars. Can we afford that? I think so. Spin, 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 spin. No, we're not doing, I don't have the money to, to do a color. Okay, black 10. That's not in the dozen, but that is even. So I lost $50 with that one. Oh wait, no, I'm, I didn't lose anything. Black, red, bled. All right, no, we're gonna have to, blue, there's no blue. Oh, I just want to get, I just want to get the money that I had back before when I started. Um, uh, oh no, I bet nothing and they spin the wheel. Did I, did I lose money for that or did I just watch the wheel go around? Blue bets matter, no. Um, okay. We need to play it safe. Let's do red, black. We'll go, I guess, black. $50 on black. And it's okay, Jukes. Daddy will always love you. No. Um, and let's go to we're gonna go for black um third 12 third dozen oops need to select a dozen i don't like how you have to select the actual option instead of just clicking on the tail all right we've got to spin the wheel so we want ideally a number between 25 and 36 and black. Come on, we can do this. Come on. Red five. I'm down two hundred and thirty dollars. which is just $130, but I guess I would have to pay the casino at this point, but we haven't cashed out, so we haven't lost anything. Hmm. All right. Oof. We haven't been doing too so good, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, things are looking a little bit bad here. You need to buy me a sweet Cadillac. Um, okay, we can bet on half the board, so let's do that. Um, the first half of the board, one to 18. Um, that pays one to one though. Why would I want that? Otherwise I'd lose, right? Otherwise I'd, I'd just lose money if I get it wrong. I don't want that. And I just make the same amount back if I got it right. Red, black, and odd evens pay one to one. Let's go for a dozen again. Um, we'll go for the first dozen, numbers one through 12, and we'll just spin. We'll just spin. All bets down. Come on, come on, come on. 11. I won a hundred dollars. I'm still down 130, but we can keep going. 
I feel a streak coming on. Um, let's clear our bets for now. <sighs> let's go for a um, five to one odd. That's a line. So the line, what would the line be? Oh yeah, so that's just six numbers. You know what we could do? We could bet on a line that has one of the two dozens on it. So this pays five to one. Let's bet $50 on that is five to one. So we'll make a lot of money back or we'll lose $50. That's fine. But also, Let's bet on both dozens next to it, which pay two to one. And we're going to bet half of that, say like three chips on each. And hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get more money than we lose. And we'll do an red, black, we'll do odd. Odd numbers as well. Four chips for odd, please. 150 total bet. If it's an odd number, we'll get some. We'll get some some chips. Um, if it is the first or second dozen, we should get some money. But if it's on the like, if it's between 22 and 27 we'll get a lot of money so let's go let's spin the wheel go for the overlapping strats come on come on please red one one is odd would did that make up for no i'm down two hundred dollars Ah, uh, I'm going to spin again because that was, that, that was an off. That wasn't it. Spin again because we'll make up money if, if that, if that spins properly. Come on. Red nine. This frigging wheel. Ah. Oh. Okay, so both of those were red. They were odd, but... Wait, did I even bet anything last time? I don't think I bet anything. But this time it'll probably be black even, right? Because it was both red odd last time. So let's do black even. All right, even. Five chips, um, and we'll do black. Five chips, and since it wasn't there, it, it was in the first dozen on both of those. Let's try going for dozen at number two and three. I can feel it. Um, Thirty dollars on each. Okay, are you ready? Check this out. Sitting back in my chair. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Ho ho ho. Black six. But it's, it's black and it's even. Just not in the dozen. I won sixty dollars. I won a hundred, but lost sixty. So I got forty dollars. Okay, let's go again, because it was it was red odd twice before. So it might be it might be black even twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got it. Let's spin this. Let's spin this. Yes, 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 yes. Red eighteen. Wait, that's in the dozen. Do I get do I get money? 
I won 110, but I lost 80. So I got $30. So let's just try and repeat that again because we haven't lost from it yet. Come on, spin, 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 spin. I need another drink. I feel great. Black six, that's even. I won a hundred and lost 60. I'm winning. I'm down $90. Come on, let's do this, repeat. <coughs> yeah, come on, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get, it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit, and boy is it gonna hit. Red 13, uh, black 13. That's in the dozen and that's, that's even. I got $30. I'm down $60. Let's just continue, continue it. Come on. Come on, spin. I bet $160, but we can do this. It just has to be black even and in one of those dozens. Come on. Red 32. That's even and that's in one of the dozens. So I won that. I got $30, I'm down $30. I'm, I've almost made it back to the amount I started with. Come on. Just one more spin with this same setup and I can leave the casino without, without debt. Come on. Come on. Red nine. Okay, I'm down $190 now. Okay. All right. All right. Let's repeat that. That might be a fluke because it was working well before. Come on. Red 19. That's in the dozen. I lost $130, oh, God. Not good. Let's just try doing odds and evens for a bit. New bets. Cause like by using two dozens, I was kind of betting against myself. Although the dozens would have made each other back. What if we try the, what if we try having a strategy of dozens where I make up enough each time? Okay, let's try that, hang on. Outside bet, dozen. So it pays two to one. So if I spend $10 on each of the dozens, yeah, that won't make it back. Oh. So that's like, that's kind of an odd even thing as well. Well, let's... God damn it. All right. Red. $50 on red. And odd. Let's do odd. $50 on odd. Come on, spin. Odd red, odd red. We've been seeing a lot of those. So more should come. N no, it's black too, which is even, oh. $360 in debt. Wait, no, let's try again. Let's try again. Because it should be different now, right? If it spins again. Oh, this is going just like at the real casinos, I imagine. Black, 33. I'm down more money. Okay, I'm down $360.
this isn't good. I wish I, uh, I wish I just paid that $30. I wish I had, I wish I was down $30 instead of $360. But it can't get that worse. So let's select a new bet. Let's try here. <laughs> I live my life in a casino. Let's try going for that, that line again. Let's, let's bet on six. Six numbers. And we'll bet on 22 through 27. And we'll bet $30 there. Now, we will also bet on, I guess, odd as well. Oh no, we'll bet on, hmm, 19 to 36 maybe? Because that contains the numbers. Yeah, let's do that. That's half the board. Okay, this is gonna go good. Because we either we either lose, we either win, or we double win. That's like uh, that's 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 like that's two out of three. Like there's two options of winning there, but only one losing, which makes sense to me, right? Red nineteen. No, but I got that in nineteen to thirty six. So I lost thirty, but I won fifty. Okay. Let's spin again. Come on. I feel it happening. We're only down $390. Black four. We're down $440. Should've, oh. All right. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, I think we're gonna have to cash. Uh, we're gonna have to just pay $440. Unless I spin again. Let's just, maybe, maybe our luck is gonna change and I spin again. Come on. Win, 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 win. Red five. We're down 540. Let's just repeat again. All right, let's just say. Okay, this is gonna be the last one. Last one. Come on. Red 23. Wait, didn't I bet on that? Didn't I bet on that? No, the, my bet went away. That's the, that's the, that's the lion. That's the six I bet on, but it's gone. I doubled my bet on that. Fine, let's press the bet. $200, come on, 19 to 36. I'm down 550. Come on, this will be the last time. Black four. Oh no, why do the numbers go down so fast but they go up so slow? I don't understand. I think we're just gonna have to cash out. Surrender. Oh, quit. All right, so roulette didn't go very well. That's okay. Let's try Baccarat. Now, can someone teach me how to play Baccarat real quick? 
Um, enter my name, Mr. J. Enter your start money. Well, I suppose I say, I suppose I'll say a hundred. I'll go to seat one. Yeah, no, no other humans will play. All right, so how do you play Baccarat? I need your help, Kaz. I guess I'll bet $20. Okay, now we're gonna get cards. Players cards to high players bets. I don't know what that means. Queen and three, bankers now. All right, bankers seven, another card for players. Bankers seven wins over players three. I lost $20. Okay, I'm out of here. Maybe. It's still like playing it. Quit, 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 quit. Commissions are due. But I don't have any. We're gonna do some blackjack. Because at least I can wrap my head around blackjack. Blackjack time. Play new game. Place your bets and we start with $2,000. I'm going to bet 100 on this. Okay, so we have, we have 11. No, wait. Player one, total 11. Yeah, we have 11 and the dealer has five and something else. Let's hit, because we got to get up to 21. We hit 21. Does it stand? Oh, the dealer got 21 too, so that didn't, I lost that. All right, let's bet 200 to make that up. And I got an instant blackjack, so I'm up to 2300. I'm liking this so far. Let's bet 200. We're at 12, so let's double this. And I got, I busted. Um, let's see. Deal again. Well, I'll bet $50 so I can get back up to my starting 2000. I'm 16, but let's double it. And I got 24. How did I, but the dealer got 24, so 25, sorry. Okay, I've got $1,800, I'll bet 100. 14. It's pretty close to 21 already. Let's stand. The deal one. I don't like that. Hundy? What's Hundy? Okay, I have 11. Yeah, let's hit. I've got 13. Let's hit. I'm busted. I got, I got uh, 23, I think. I'm down to $1,600, so I'm gonna do a big bet and hope this pays off. 19. Oh. Let's stand because I think like even the only way I would be able to win this would be get a one or a two or an ace. So let's stand. The dealer won? How did you get 21 dealer? I'm gonna bet that again. I've got four. So I'm gonna double that. 
the dealer one again. This is not fair. I only have $100 left out of my $2,000 and player two is at $19.90, so. I've got 14, let's see if we can hit it. And it busted me. No, I've lost. I've lost $2,000 plus, I think it was $600. $2,600. But there is a way to make it back. No, I... I can't win, but... We can do horse racing. Alright. Who are we going to bet on here? Um, Hoof Biter is 8 to 1, Money Maker is 10 to 1, Hillary C is 11 to 1, Santa's Little Helper is 8 to 1. The best is 8 to 1, so I guess we'll do Santa's Little Helper. I'll wager $100. Come on. No, it's too slow. Let's try a hoof biter this time and we'll go for a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's close. No. I'm down two hundred dollars, I think. No way, I'll just bet fifty. I'll bet fifty on Moneymaker the horse, which is eight to one. Because I have $800 still out of a thousand, which I started with. Is that the one I went for? No, it's not, is it? It's not Moneymaker. You love horse racing? Oh, Hillary Clinton, the horse. Well, she's eight to one. Let's try and vote on Hillary. Uh, bet on Hillary. I'll wager $50. Hillary, come on. Come on. No. Damn it. Okay, well, let's keep going. Terminator is eight to one. So let's do $50 on Terminator now. Is it happening? Yes, Terminator. I got $400. All right. Let's bet on unlucky seven real quick. The horses are trash, but I won. I'll bet 50 on lucky seven. <gasps> it was a, it was a, 11 to one chance and I, I did it and I got $550. Let's turn down the speed though, because I want to, I want to be watching as if I'm holding my money and seeing a cut, seeing what's happening and just having that dread of losing my money. Okay. Let's go for Mr. D E D D Mr. Dead. I'll wager a hundred dollars. Oh my God, that's so fast. I need to turn up the speed, I guess. Turn it up to 50. Um, let's bet on Swampy, eight to one. Uh, $50 please. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, is that Swampy? I don't think so. I think the Swampy is the top one, which is way behind. No, I need this to be slower though. All right, lucky seven, eight to one. Let's bet a hundred dollars. 
Okay, come on, Lucky Seven. Oh, come on. Oh, it's not looking good. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. Didn't work out. This is the level of of realism I want to feel, where I'm screaming at the screaming at the horses. All right, let's do Santa's little helper for eight to one. We'll wager fifty dollars, and that's horse five. So okay. He's kind of up there with them. Oh, he's he's taking the lead. He's taking the lead. Wait, the one number six is going over him. Wait, wait, is he gonna get it? Oh my god, he's at the lead. No, 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 no. Oh, stupid horse. He was so close. It's okay, it's only $50. Let's go for... Let's go for Moneymaker. We've done Moneymaker before, that's number six. I'll wager $50. Okay. Come on, Moneymaker. Come on. Oh, he's ahead. No, wait. Number one and number four are overtaking him. Come on, come on. No, you can do it. You can do it. No. No, number four's ahead of him. Please, please, please. No. It's okay, it's only $50. Let's go for Money Maker again. Eight to one odds, that's the highest, high, uh, that's the best odds that there are. How much shall I wager? Let's do 50 because there is a pretty good payoff. Come on, money maker. Oh my God, he's ahead. Oh no, but the last one is catching up. Please, come on. Number two's catching up. Come on, money maker. Come on. No, number two, no. No, no, just stay back for a little bit, number two. Money maker. No, the last one! He was one dot away from winning. No! Oh, that's fine. It was only $50. I don't know why I'm so legitimately invested in this. It's that dopamine. It's that dopamine you get. Okay, just chill out a little bit. Let's go with Swampy. Let's, well, let's, no, let's put on Hillary C. 11 to one, come on, just this one, $50. Come on, you're last, you're already last. Oh, can you get ahead? No, it's not looking like it. No, you... I knew that was $50 down the drain as soon as I did it. 11 to 1 odds. Come on. That was just a waste of money. Um, let's do Lucky 7. We have a... We have eleven $1 hundred dollars. Is <laughs> how Bernie can still win? No. <sighs> how much do you wager? Fifty dollars. Uh, Fifty dollars. Come on, lucky set. You just sitting there? You're sitting. You you're so far behind. 
This isn't very lucky. Well, you almost came last. I'm not betting $666 on Hillary Clinton. Fine, I'll do it. The peer pressure got me. Oh, come on, Hillary. Come on. Oh, no. Why did I do this? I thought it would be cool, but it's... Is she going to win? Oh my God. She won $6,666. No, $6,660. Six the DNC is backing you? <sighs> oh. Come on, money maker, eight to one. I've got seven K. Let's put a grand down on money maker. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, he's he's in the he's near the lead. No, he's falling behind. He could make it probably if he tried really hard. Come on, no, no. That's 1k gone. Why did I do that? All right, let's go for Swampy. That's eight to one. Number two. I guess I'll do $100 instead of my usual 50. Come on, Swampy. No. Average at best. Or, no. Number six is going pretty hard. Hillary Clinton is not based. Don't say that. It's, we don't even know if it's Hillary Clinton. It's Hillary C. It could be like Hillary Clough or something. Okay, let's wager $100 on Hoofbiter. Come on, Hoofbiter. No, you've lost immediately. You're staying behind all of them. Unless you like speed up real fast. Oh, you're so far behind the rest. I hate it. No. Actually the worst. All right. Let's bet a hundred on lucky seven, who's the only eight to one here. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he might win. He's, he's ahead of the others. Oh, but he keeps having bursts of speed. I think it's gonna, oh, it's, it's coming so close to number six. Come on, lucky seven. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Wait, did I not win? Moneymaker wins? No! I bet on the wrong horse. It was a tie, I guess, but I was looking at the wrong one. Oh. All right, lucky seven. Hundred dollars for you. Make me proud. You're not making me proud. You're not making me proud at all, actually. You're the worst horse. Why are you still racing? Get better. Sorry, I'm getting angry at the horses. Um, let's vote for Hillary again. 11 to one, you get Hillary Clinton is the white horse, yes. You know what? $1,000 on Hillary Clinton, 11 to 1. That was such a bad idea. Why did I do that? I just thought... I just... 
I thought because it happened before, it might happen again. But instead, freaking Purple Horse. I don't even remember the name. What's Purple Horse's name? Terminator. Alright, let's go for Hoof Bide, the only 8 to 1. 8 to 1? Fine. $800 for you. Come on. Come on. The magic only happens once. I thought because. Oh no, Lucky Seven's gonna win. Please, no. Hoof Bider, please. No, Lucky Seven won. With, I think, Mr. Dead following up a second. <sighs> Let's go for Money Maker. 10 to 1. $500. Come on, Money Maker. Hillary, don't win this. Hillary, no. Hillary, don't. No, don't, Hillary. Please, don't do this to me. Okay, um, I think Terminator won? Yeah, so I lost money there. Let's wager $70 on Lucky 7, 10 to 1 odds. Stop cheering on Hillary. Right, it's a trash horse, not reliable. The games are fixed. Oh, is Moneymaker gonna get us? I don't know if that's Moneymaker. Is that Moneymaker? I don't think so. No, that's Santa's little helper. God. Um, Hillary is eight to one, so let's do eighty dollars there, I guess. not happening it only happens once when I why freaking lucky seven no it was um mr. dead oh I hate this hoof 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 what's what is that all right, let's go with Swampy. Eight to one odds. I'm getting low in the money department. Only 3.2K. Um, let's do $40. Wait, did the game crash? Uh, $50? Oh, that might be the lowest wager. Come on, come on. Mr. Swampy, please. It, it might be, oh no, freaking money maker. Hillary, why? I hate it. Well, I haven't won in a while, so let's go with Zeus, eight to one. I'll wager a hundred dollars. <laughs> Come on, Zeus. Number three, Zeus. Come on. No, don't let Terminator beat you. Hillary is such a clutch winner. Tell me about it. She's going to win again. Why? She won again. I'm not going to use her because I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to bet. I'm not going to put money on Hillary Clinton because if I do that, then I'm going to. She's not going to. She's not going to win. I'm getting so. Okay. Eight to one. Hoof biter. $100. Her name is Hillary Clinton. No, it's Hillary C. 
Come on, hoof biter. Come on, hoof biter. No. Mr. Swampy, just why? Well, at least it's not Hillary. That makes me a little bit happier. How much money do I have? I'll see in a second. Money maker, eight to one. I've got 2.9 grand. It says when she wins that her name is literally Hillary Clinton. I don't believe you. Why would they shorten it to Hillary C here if Santa's little helper it fits on the screen? Okay, hundred dollars. Come on. Money maker, come on. No, that's Mr. Lucky. Or is that money maker? That I think that's Mr. Lucky. That's not Mr. Lucky. Lucky seven. Yeah, Lucky Seven wins. <sighs> Why? Oh, did I win? No, what? I got $800? Money Maker, that was Money Maker. I got $800 from Money Maker. This is like putting coins in the Neopets well. All right. Check it next time Hillary wins, fine. I'll, I'll go for Hillary now. Spend $100. She's ahead. Oh, it's tight though. Oh, she's really ahead. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God, she's so close to winning. Hillary Clinton wins. She won the race. I got $800. Hillary, 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 Hillary. Look. Let's go for lucky seven. Eight to one. And let's wager 1,000. No, not 1,000. $200. Come on, lucky seven. Come on. Lucky seven, you're getting some good speed there. Come on. I think you can beat Swampy. I believe in you, please. I believe in you. You're a good horse. You're a good horse. You can do this. Come on, come on. Oh, garbage, garbage. Freaking Terminator one. How'd you lose that bad? Don't say hi, Larry, because that sounds like Hillary. Don't say it. We're gonna go on Mr. Dead. We're gonna give $200. He's, he's fast. Come on. No, oh, he's really, he's really tying it with Santa's little helper. Come on, come on, come on, please, please, please. So close, they're tied. Oh! No! It's one pixel away from winning. I hate it. Come on, money maker. Let's just do $200 on you. Waste it, I suppose. Yeah, freak, exactly. Money maker, come on. Come on, dude. Trash horse, yeah. Of course, for the first time in the game, Hoof Biter wins. All right. Come on, Zeus. I'll give you $200. Oh my God. He's so far ahead. He's like a full horse body length ahead. Come on. No, Hillary, don't do this. Uh, I think it's Mr. Lucky, Lucky Seven. No, no, Lucky, no. M Lucky, no, it's Money Maker, no. Dude, really? 
two hundies? What does that even mean? Two hundreds? Yeah, don't say, don't try and Australianize. Don't Australianize things that aren't Australianized, okay? You can't just put E's at the end. <sighs> you know what? We're gonna go for, for like E7. It's 11 to 10 odds, but we'll do 50. Whatever. Come on. Oh my God, it's happening possibly. Wait, am I looking at the right horse? I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of zoned out. No, I think we're failing bad. Uh, oh, maybe. Come on, come on, come on. No, he was two away. I hate it. Nine to one, come on. We're at $3.5 thousand dollars. I wager a hundred for this nine to one hoof biter. Oh, he's a head or she, whatever, it's a horse. Is there like a term for male horse and female horse? Probably. Oh, Mr. Dead One. All right, Hillary C, eight to one. I'll put $200 on you for the memes. Oh, 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 she looked ahead for a little bit. Come on, I guess Zeus is winning. Stallion versus Mare, that's right. I watched like how many seasons of, of My Little Pony and I didn't remember it. Let's make this full screen. That's better. You know a lot about horses in brackets, I'm lying. All right, what happens if we put the accuracy up to like 30? What does that do? Um. Let's do Mr. Dead eight to one, hundred dollars. Mm. It's not going for it. I'm not watching My Little Pony with you. Oh, Mr. Dead, he's catching up. Oh no, he's fallen behind. No, it looks like Terminator is really far ahead. Oh no, Mr. Dead's ahead. He's ahead. Come on, come on. Yes, eight hundred dollars for me. Don't have a sad face in chat. This is supposed to be a positive place. I can't have you making the place sad with your feelings. That's your mustache? Oh, my bad. I thought it was a frowny face. Okay. Go for swampy. Eight hundos? No, it's not hundos, it's not hundies, it's hundreds. Let's wager five hundred dollars on well, what did I just make? I made $800 just now. So let's wager 200 on Swampy. Eight to one, come on Swampy. Feelings don't care about your facts. That's Sen Bashiro. Sen Bapio. I don't know how you reverse those. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, horse number two, come on. That's our horse, Swampy, you're catching up. Oh, oh, come on. Oh my God. Number two, it's happening. Oh no, but Lucky Seven's running in. Wait, no, that's Moneymaker. No, come on, no, no. Hoof by the one. $200 down the drain. Shen Piro. Um, 
Come on. Lucky seven, eight to one. Let's do Buddy Maker, 10 to one. I will wager $200. Come on, Money Maker. Yeah, Hoof Biter is the worst. I know the game's named after the horse, but come on. Come on, Money Maker. Catch up. All the other horses are catching up, weren't you? Come on, please. Please. He's doing, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think he's in like third now. No. No, Lucky Seven is winning. Unless Money Maker catch, no, Lucky Seven's winning. Lucky Seven won. Why? Are you tired of, oh no, that was Santa's little helper. Sorry, not Lucky Seven. Am I tired of the horses? No, I'm tired of losing. How much shall I wager? Let's go $200 on Hoofbiter, eight to one, I guess. Come on, Hoofbiter. Oh, please. Uh, it's in like, it's first, Hoofbiter's coming in first, kind of, but then there's uh, Lucky Seven, and now Mr. Dead that's catching up, and now Swampy's in front. You can be my horse, Kaz? No, no thanks. Hoofbiter, you're gonna win? Please, please, you're ahead. No, Moneymaker, don't. Don't hoof bite it, please. No, 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 no. Oh. Why? Why do that? Okay. Let's go for the safe Hillary C. Eight to one odds. I'll put 200 on it. It's just that if I want to get a good payout, I need to put like a few hundred on it, but then I lose money if I lose. I don't want to lose money. Come on, Hillary. Come on. No. Money maker's getting ahead. Come on, Hillary. No, money maker's getting ahead again? Santa's little helper, Terminator and Lucky Seven are all kind of in their own league at first, but I think Terminator and Santa's Little Helper are tying at the moment. I think Terminator's gonna win. Nope, Santa's Little Helper won. Great. Let's go with Money Maker. Eight to one. <sighs> I have $3.1,000. I'm gonna have to start doing big bets just so I get that payoff. Let's go for $400. Money Maker, eight to one. Come on, make me some money. Please. Oh, you're already behind. Hoof biter. Hoof biter, please don't win. Anyone but a hoof biter. Please, no. Oh. Hoof biter one. Why? Why do that? Why win like that? All right, we're gonna go for Hillary again. And we're gonna put down five hundred uh, dollars. Come on, Hillary. You continue to fail me, but I can, but I continue to put my confidence in you. It's not happening. It's not. Terminator, send us little helper. Send us little helper's gonna win him. look at it. Oh, Hillary! Can you catch up? Five hundreds, please. Oh, Hillary! 
You're going to win? You're in first? Come on. No, please, please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I got $4,000. Four grand. All right. Okay. Let's bet on Hillary again. We have 6.2K, so let's wager. Wait, I'm supposed to get $4,000 then. Was I really down that low? Let's wager $300 on Hillary again. Come on, Hillary. It's eight to one. Come on, Hillary. It looks like Lucky Seven's pulling out of head with Mr. Swampy in term. Uh, Hoofbiter coming close to first. Oh, Hillary, come on, you can make it. Oh, Hillary's kind of catching up. Hilly might be in third now. Come on, oh, we're falling behind. Mr. Swampy's gonna win, I hate it. Hillary, 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 Hillary. No, don't, don't write that. See, Hillary lost me money. So we're gonna do it again, because once again, nine to one odds. $300, come on, Hillary. Stop, Swamp Man, Frick. Frick, k k k k k No, don't do that. Zeus and Terminator are winning, and we're way behind last, after Hoofbiter, who's last, so we couldn't possibly have done worse. This could possibly be the worst. Yep, Terminator is about to win. Yeah. God. All right, eight to one. Let's go for lucky seven. $300, lucky seven, come on. Oh, that's not a strong start. Oh. You're in second. Um, Mr. Dead's in first. Come on, you can, you can do it. So Hoofbiter, Santa's Little Helper, and Lucky Seven are all kind of in second. Come on, come on Lucky Seven. Lucky Seven's catching up to this, this, this trash horse. But Hoofbiter is too. No, Hoofbiter, don't you win. Don't you win, Hoofbiter. Come on, Lucky Seven. Come on. No, Hoofbiter won at the last minute. No. I hate it. I'm losing money because I need to spend money to get money. This isn't fair. All right, let's go for Zeus. $300. Come on, Zeus. Make me proud. Make me proud, please. Please. Oh, uh, Zeus is kind of coming out in front. But Mr. Dead, and it, okay, Mr. Dead, um, lucky, lucky seven money maker. All out in the head. You're boycotting the races until Hoofbiter is retired. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so close, but we lost. Retire Hoofbiter. All right, Hillary, eight to one. You get $400, don't let me down. Trash horses indeed. Come on, Hillary. Please. Please. Come on. You're kind of in second. Third. Uh, third still? 
fourth, fourth. Wow. Isn't oh, you might be able to catch up, Hillary, please. No, lucky seven one. Why? All right, let's go for hoof biter. Eight to one. I'm gonna wager five hundred dollars because I'm like I haven't won for a while, so obviously I'm gonna win this time, right? That's just how it works. Come on, hoof biter. <gasps> hoof biter is kind of neck and neck with Mr. Swampy. Come on. Come on, Mr. Swampy. If you win, I'm going to throw my face off. Hoofbite is winning. Hoofbite is winning. The garbage... Oh, Goybidge hearse. The garbage horse Hoofbite won, and I got four grand. All right. Things are coming up. Yeah, Swamp Man. I'll go for Swamp Man. $400 Swamp Man, come on. Come on Swampy, Mr. Swamp. Mr. in, uh, in quotes, Swamp Man. Oh, he's gonna possibly, he's coming second, but Hillary's, Hillary. Oh my God, Hillary. Hillary's winning. Way ahead of the others. And if Hillary doesn't want it, when it's either going to be like uh, Santa's little helper or maybe money maker. No, nope, Hillary won. Why? Let's save our game. File name, no extension. Save. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's go quit for a second. No, not hoof.exe. I want to edit um, hoof.configuration. No. Let's save. All right, I'm just looking at files because I want to change Hillary Clinton's name. Hoof1. Swamp was my father. Call me man. All right. Uh... It might, the gambling time might be over. So let's play a little bit of cultural awareness. Sixth grade essential knowledge. Um, let's begin. Please enter your name, Mr. J. You don't recognize your name? Um, Kaz, it's Kaz. No, um, Jackie. No, it's saying it didn't recognize it. What about just like Fred? All right, so it's probably a save system, yeah. Nile River, please enter a one-line description of the above concept for 100 points. The heck is a Nile River? Um, it's a flowing river in America, yeah. You need an additional information? Um, it flows south. Please type in more about the subject for 50 points. Um, it connects to the ocean. Please try again. This is your last chance for 25 points. It's a river in Africa? Okay, it's a river in Africa. You don't seem to be familiar with the above concept. Please take a few seconds to study what I have read in my database. Longest river in the world in Northeast Africa. Blue Nile originates in um, Ethiopia. E-T-H-I-O-P-I-A. Um, White Nile originates from Lake Victoria, flows through Uganda and meets with Blue Nile in Sudan. Nile flows through Egypt to the Mediterranean Sea. Little baby Moses was put in the river. 
Is that who it was? All right, Matter, please enter a one line description of the above concept for 100 points. Okay, Matter makes up reality. Need additional information. Um, matter, is it solid? I think it's like atoms or something. Matter is what makes up objects. Additional for 50 points. It exists. Matter is stuff that exists. That's correct, Kaz. Please try again. Oh. Uh, last chance for 25 points. What, what, how else would you describe matter? Um. Uh. Matter consists of atoms and particles. Although you seem quite familiar with the, although you seem familiar with the above concept, it took you quite a while to express yourself. Please take a few seconds to review what I have in my database. Matter, the stuff everything is made up of, anything we can touch, feel, etc. Ordinary matter is made up of atoms, which are made out of electrons, protons, and neutrons. All the matter has mass and exerts a gravitational pull on other matters. Yeah, well, I used some of those words, so let's go. Please enter a one-line description of the above concept for 100 points. Concept Judas Iscariot. Iscariot. Okay. Judas betrayed Jesus. Yes! I didn't even know his second name, but I know that no one would really name anyone Judas after that happened. Okay, you do f seem familiar with the above concept. Here's what I have in my database about this subject. Judas Iscariot, New Testament. Judas Iscariot was one of Jesus' apostles, one of his closest followers. After he, no wait, he betrayed Jesus to the Romans for 30 pieces of silver by kissing him. Afterwards, he felt so much guilt that he hanged himself. All right. Um, 30 pieces of silver by kissing him. All right. And that's how he betrayed Jesus, by kissing. I feel like I'm missing some context there. Concept down in the valley. Please enter the one line description of the above concept for 100 points. It's not a kid's game, it's an educational experience. I'm learning down in the valley. Um, uh, a 1980s or 1980s blockbuster Christian movie? No, I guess that wasn't it. I just thought um, a romance, a book. No, it's not that. Um, this is set in a, this is an American game, so, um, I guess it could be an event of Native American genocide. I mean, it seemed like it would, that's what it would be. You have no idea what this is. Well, I just got some smiley faces, so I think that's close. Down in the valley. Um... Maybe it had Christopher Columbus. You don't seem to be familiar with it. Down in the Valley, American folk song. Down in the valley, the valley's so low. Hang your head over, hear the wind blow. Hear the wind blow, dear, hear the wind blow. Hang your head over, hear the wind blow. Okay. Oh, it has music? Hang on a second. I don't want to play music, but I will. I'll... Let's turn on sound. Oh, I don't like how loud that's going to be. Hang on a second. I heard that popping in. I know it's going to be super, 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 super loud. So hang on a second. Let's turn it real down. Is that what it sounds like? Okay. 
Let's continue. Please enter a one line description of the above concept for 100 points. Treasure Island. Oh, a book about pirates. You need additional information. Um, a children's classic book about pirates and treasure. More information. Um, uh, it, I know it's a book. I have, I have like a portion of it in another book that I have. I've said it's about pirates. It's a classic book about pirates and treasure. Um, it's an adventure novel. Please try again. Last chance for 50 points. Oh, I'm sweating so bad. Not really. What could it... Hmm. Okay, what else does it have? What else could it have? It's a book in a book? Okay. It's a book about a book. I'm not familiar with the above concept. Treasure Island, a novel by Robert Louis Stevenson. It is the 1800s. A boy finds a treasure map. God. I should have written treasure map. That seems obvious. Two men hire a ship to search for the treasure. Unknown to them among the crew are pirates. Long John Silver and his men who want the treasure for themselves. There's no alligators there. You're thinking of uh, that movie with the guy. All right. Tibet, enter a one line description of the above concept for 100 points. Tibet or Tibet, it's, it's hard to tell. Um, God, that sounds like some kind of, it sounds like some kind of building or a food or a political system. Hmm. Has monks in China uh, contains Chinese monks? Need additional information? I guess not. They're genocided. I th we're talking about whatever this is, right? Genocide of Chinese monks. Is it a location? A time? A subject for fifty points. Um. I don't know. I don't know anything. Um, type in some more information about the subject. Uh, I guess it's a location in China. This is my last chance. I don't know. It's a country. You said it's a country. It's a country. Okay, it says I don't seem to be familiar. Mountain Plateau region in Central Asia in the Himalayas annexed by China in 1951. Cities. Star. L-H-A-S-A. Uh, Asia's greatest rivers the rise in Tibet. Yangtze. Mekong. Yellow. Yellow. Um, Iridi. Indus. Dalai Lama has led drive to restore independence. Okay. That seems kind of important. Immunity life science. Please enter a one line description of the above concept for 10 points. Um, immunity. The inability to catch a viral infection. And you need additional information. All right. Um, immunity is the body's response to viruses. Wow, this is old. Why is it old? Suicide is cool, but genocide isn't. What are you talking about? Okay. I seem to be familiar with the above concept. Immunity is the body's ability to resist disease. White blood cells called B lymphocytes produce antibodies against invading organisms, while T lymphocytes kill diseased body cells. Vaccination is used to artificially induce immunity. That makes sense. Please enter a one-line description of Nat Turner. Uh, is that a person? Because all I can think is like Will Turner, but I think that's a Pirates of the Caribbean character. Hmm. 
Nat Tanner. National Tanner? Is this, a, is this another white American dude who came into America and did some really horrible stuff? Because I feel like I would have heard about them if there was some kind of a hero. Um, so let's write Nat Turner was, or you can think is Natalie Portman. Yeah, Nat Turner was an American during the 1800s um, on the Oregon Trail. Yeah, need additional point, need additional information. Okay, so that seems to be completely off base because I didn't get any smileys. Um, please type it. Um, Nat Turner invented germ theory. That's completely wrong, but maybe it'll think like invented. Please type in some more about the subject. Basketball. Nat Turner. Um, I wanted, I was going to like write Space Jam, but I don't even know if this game, I think it predates Space Jam. Um, Nat Turner uh, helped push, um, helped bring basketball to the United States. Last chance. Mm -hmm. It's a Turner that Nats. Oh no. Nat Turner, a Virginia slave of the early 19th century who led a major slave revolt in 1831, the Southampton Insurrection. The rebellion slaves killed possibly 85 whites before he was finally captured, tried, and hanged. Uh, I feel really bad. Nat, that sounds like Natalie? I, I mean... Ah... Uh. I'm just going to leave that there and we're going to continue on. Cain and Abel. Oh, it's a Linux program, but it's named after something. Brothers. Brothers. Cain and Abel were... No, wait, they're like detectives, aren't they? Um, are fictional detectives. Additional information doesn't sound right. Um, burglars, they could be burglars. That would be why they named it after Cain and Abel, because it's like a password cracking program. Um, no, 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 no. What? 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 They're brothers in the Bible. Oh, that's right. The Bible. Cain killed Abel. That's right. Cain killed Abel in the Bible. Um, that's about all I know. I think this was... These were the guys that made God go, look, we got to clean up humans. We're going to just have a little bit of genocide and just flood the earth. Like, um, I think they were the parents, not parents, uncles of Noah. No, they went on the they went on the boat, I think. And um, Cain and Abel, Cain killed a um, Cain killed Abel in the Bible, and was part of Noah's family on the ark. Yeah. In Genesis, Cain was first born, firstborn son of Adam and Eve, brother of Abel. Once after each offered sacrificial gifts to God, God accepted Abel's gift, but not Cain's. In anger, Cain killed Abel and committed the first murder. Okay, well, not great. Um, there's a lot of stuff about God here. I feel, did I accidentally pick up a, a Christian learning thing? Strait of Magellan. Um... I don't know what that is. It sounds like a um a windy road. Um 
a, uh, uh, what's the word? A mountainous road in England. No, that's not it. You have, you have knowledge about Noah, bad knowledge or just like trash. It's a river. Is it a river? You put a question mark, a river in England. You need some more. Please type in some more about the subject. I don't know what a strait is. Or a Magellan. Wait, no. Magellan is a location. Okay, so it doesn't want to know that. Or it could like be a person from like Greece. Um, honestly, it sounds like some kind of like Magellan sounds like some kind of quiche. Um, I don't know. Enter. Since you gave up on the question, let's take some time to review the concept. Straight between, straight between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, off the southern tip of Southern America, between Charles and Teria del Fuego Island Group. Discovered by Magellan in 1520, formerly an important sea route before the Panama Canal was built. That's weird phrasing because it doesn't tell me what strait is. Is it a group of islands? It says it's between. Is strait just a word that I don't know? I mean, you did say it sounded like a river. Oh god, my nose is bleeding. All right, um, not good. Uh, all right, we can do this. Hang on. Hang on. If I if I tilt my head back, then this should be fine, right? I just have a bit of a nosebleed, that's all. One rotten apple spoils the bunch. I've heard that on the internet enough. Spoils the bunch, yeah. I think it's bunch or barrel. One rotten apple spoils the barrel. Ah. Uh, do I need to talk about what the proverb is? Um, a comparatively narrow passageway connecting two large bodies of water. Yeah, that seems like it makes sense. All right, please type in some more about the subject for 50 points. One rotten apple spoils the barrel, and I said spoils the bunch, and it says it's giving me smile faces to tell me what it is, but that I was on track, but I really think I need to explain the proverb in my own words. And I think it kind of means that, um, I don't know what it means. It, one apple doesn't spoil the bunch. It doesn't make sense. And I know what it means. It means that, uh, maybe I don't know what it means. Um, all apples have to be good. One, uh, one loses trust in the rest. I don't know, police? Because I keep hearing that about the police. All right. One rotten apple spoils the whole barrel. One bad person can ruin things for an entire group. This comes from the observation that even a single overly ripe apple will hasten the rotting of other apples in the same barrel. That makes sense. Proverbs are trash. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, five times negative six. Please enter a one line answer. That's just a math question, okay? That's five times six, but negative. That's like 30. No, wait. Yeah, negative 25. Your answer isn't quite right or complete. Five times negative, no wait, five times four is 20. So yeah, it was 30. Good, you answered the above problem correctly. Five times six times negative, five times negative six equals negative 30. Multiplication of a positive number by a negative number gives a negative number. Note that the minus uses a negation symbol has a higher priority than multiplication. 
This contrasts with the with the minus user subtraction symbol. Yeah, math sucks. Jack Sprat. Um. Oh, it's going to be another American person. Why? It's a roll of the device of the dice as to whether this is just going to be like. Uh, I don't know. Jack Spratt was an American hero. That's my final answer. Nursery rhyme. Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. And so betwixt to them both, they, li they licked the platter clean. What? What? Okay, fine. Habitat. Enter a one-line description of the above concept for 100 points. The environment in which a living organism uh, uh, re resides in. That's so weird. Yeah, it is so weird. You need more information? It's where animals live. Good. I seem familiar with the concept. The region where a plant or animal normally lives or grows, its native environment or natural home. Many wild plants and their animals have become endangered or extinct because of man's destruction of their native habitats. True dot dat. Give the devil. Oh, wait, I know this one. I know this one. Give the devil an inch and he'll take a... Okay, I don't know the rest. Give the devil an inch and he'll take a mile. It's a mile. No, it's not. Give, give the devil... I don't know this one. I've, I've never used this idiom. Give the devil a... Give the devil a mile and he'll take... Did I not get it right? I need to explain the idiom. If you give someone... Um, if you give someone... No, don't do this. You're trying to make me serialize all the stuff in my brain. If you give someone... Okay. I give the devil an inch and it'll take a mile. I'm going to assume that's what it is. If you, if you give someone malicious something, uh, permission, what, I hate idioms so much. Like, I know what it means. It's like you give them, it's the foot in the door tactic. If you give someone malicious um, something of value, they will ask for more. No, that's not it. Foot, give the devil a foot and he'll take a mile. Nope, they're garbage. I'm going to give up on this one. To give the devil his due means to give credit to your opponent. Politically, Harry and I are opposite poles, but give the devil his due, he's a really good person. What? Is that... what? How? Micronesia. Um, alright. Micronesia. Um, uh, I think it's short term memory. No, the inability to form the short term memories. Um, easy, uh, uh, for forgetting memory. You've never heard that in your life. What, where is this game from? I don't understand. 
it's teaching me things that I never thought I would know or need to know. Small group of islands in the South Pacific. <laughs> Small group of islands in the Southern Pacific. Oh my God. I thought it was like amnesia. How? Group of many islands in Western Pacific Ocean. Includes the Federated States of Micronesia. So it's a country. Tuvalu, Kiribati, Republic of the Marshall Islands also includes the U.S. Territory of Guam and U.S. Commonwealth of the Northern Marina Islands. All right. What is a surface area of a brick three by five by eight inches? All right. Hang on a second. Three by five by eight inches. So the surface of it is just basically a cube, uh, a cube right? So I'm just multiplying all those together. So three times five is a fifteen. 8 times 15. Oh no. Hang on. It's big numbers. I can do this. So 3 times 5? 15 times 8. Um, can I use a calculator? I feel like I should be able to answer 15 times 8. But times tables don't go over 12, do they? Give me, give me a break. All right, 15 times 4, what's that? Um, 15, 30, that'd be 60. Uh, so that would be 120, I think. Three, uh, 120 inches. Uh, three times five times eight equals 120. No, I guess it's not that. Three by, oh, it's, no, it's the surface area. Why is it cubed? You're thinking of volume, I think. Unless it like is 240. Oh, 158 square inches. Brick is rectangular solid with six faces, opposite faces being of equal dimensions. That's right. I was doing, I wasn't counting the other faces. I was counting three faces, the surface area of just the three, not, not the rest. That would have been volume, I think. Oh. 158 square inches. A brick is a rectangular solid with six faces, opposite faces being of equal dimensions. The area is hence two times and it does math stuff. And it's just like two times 15 plus 40 plus 24 equals two times 79. Ah, oh, that hurts my head. Strings music, enter one line description of the above concept for hundred points. Um, strings and music, pluckable instruments such as the guitar, zither and Banjo. There. Musical instruments whose sounds are made by bowing, plucking, or hitting tightly stretched strings. Examples, violins, cellos, violas, harps, guitars, banjos, and mandolins. Pianos are both stringed and percussion instrument. Interesting. I didn't think about how they're stringed, but it makes sense. Atom, please enter a one line description of the above concept for 100 points. A zither is, I believe, a Chinese instrument that's a bit like a harp, but um, horizontal. That's the best way I can describe it. Please enter a one-line description of the above concept atoms. Um, atom. Um, well, the word atom means the indivisible unit of matter, but I think it's more clear to say, um, I think it's a neutron surrounded by electrons. Um, there, additional information. Um, atoms make up matter and chemicals. Yeah, I'm familiar. 
Atom, the smallest particle of matter that can take part in chemical reactions to form molecules. Each element is made of characteristic atoms. An atom has a positive nucleus of protons and neutrons, which is orbited by negative electrons. That makes sense. I remember some things, right? Daniel in the lion's den. It's a concept. Well, it says concept in all of them. I guess that means um, to be amidst enemies, hostile parties, enemies. It's talking about a book, isn't it? A 1950s uh, romantic comedy book. No. Bible crap? Mm. Saved by God. Daniel got saved by God in the lion's den. I vaguely remember that. Was uh, um, let me think. Daniel was trapped. Was surrounded by lions in their den, but was saved after. Uh, but saved by God. I'm not sure if there were angels involved or it was prayer. It would have been angels, right? They had angels back then. By angels sent by God. Nope. Uh, let's hit enter. Let's take some time to review the concept. Daniel, an official in King Darius's court, was faithful to his Hebrew God. Darius once decreed that prayers be directed only to the king. Daniel disobeyed, was thrown into a den of lions, but was saved by God's angel. I was kind of right. He had faith. What do you mean, why? North Pole. Um, uh, it's in a, that's in the Greenland, isn't it? Um, ideally, it's... Um, the point encompasses point two, located in Greenland. Oh, I probably spelled Greenland wrong. It's probably Greenland, not Greenland. Um, magnetic North is a cardinal direction based on the Earth's magnetic field. Right, that gave me, that's like more happy faces for that. Um, no, wait, that's true north, I think. I don't know. The pyramids were lined up with north. Uh, I don't know. I gave up on the question. Let's review it. The north end of the northern end of the Earth's axis at 90, 90 degree north latitude. The Arctic Ocean encompasses the entire area. Robert Peary and Matthew Henson were the first explorers to genuinely reach the North Pole, an earlier claim by Frederick Cook proved false. Yeah, that's right. During the 1800s, all the cool fiction was about going to the North Pole. In the 1900s, it was about going to space. And uh, I guess in the 2000s, it's about just having a livable wage. I don't know. I think it's got a bit weird, got a bit weird this, uh, this century, but there's still more of the century to go. All right. Get a taste of one's own medicine. A taste of one's own medicine. Oh, so as long as I say it, I don't have to explain it. In the 2000s, it's about dying. Uh, I guess so. If a person treats others badly and then gets treated badly in return, he is getting a taste of his own medicine. That's not what it means, is it? I thought it was specifically if you treat someone um, badly in a certain way and then that certain way happens to you, it's getting a taste of your own medicine. But with this, it's like if you, if you bully someone and then they hit you with a, with a rake... It's like, oh, I got a taste of my own medicine because you just treated badly in return. That makes no sense. I hate this. Solution, chemistry. Um, 
Okay, I, I, I'm going to guess this one. A uh, solution in chemistry is a formula used to transition between two chemicals. Okay, I got some smiley faces there. So the word formula, I think was the key word there. Additional information. What do, what do we have there? Um, or it could be like, it could be like, like an actual, um, a physical volume of um, a chemical used to create um, other chemicals or medicines. No, that didn't give me any happy faces. Hmm. It's, I, I hear the term solution all the time when watching all those chemistry videos on YouTube. They refer to um, a liquid or kind of acid or not acid or something. It's basically the product of um, a chemical process, chemical process. No, I give up. A mixture of two or more chemically distinct compounds which is uniform down to molecular levels. If you dissolve salt and water to get a solution, the salt is called the solute and the water is called the solvent. Okay, I don't get that. I don't get how solute and solvent come into play there. Oh no, I see. It's like a uh, solution is the end result. Uh, solute, the salt is the mechanism, and solvent is what you start with. That makes sense. It's like solvent plus solute equals solution. Don't cut off your nose to to spite your face. Is that what it is? Don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Yeah. A vengeful, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. A vengeful act will often hurt you more than anyone else. That's true. You've never heard that? You can't have that revenge. Muhammad Ali. Um, famous professional boxer. Um, He was really good, I think. I know that video about where that, where um, someone tried to beat him, they put plaster in their uh, gloves and cheated. Um, I think he died from like, I don't know, boxing because that's what happens if you get hit in the head and stuff. Um. That's the answer, just let it go. <laughs> no, it's about his life story. Like it's probably where he lives. Um, trash game. No, 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 I can understand this. Um, famous professional boxer. I need additional information. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't know where he boxed. I don't know what era he boxed in. I just know that he's a boxer. He's a Muslim who changed his name. I think... I think he did find um, Islam as a religion, didn't he? And then he changed his name to Muhammad. Um, but I don't quite remember the actual religious experience he had. I don't know. I don't know anything like concrete about him. Hmm. I might have to just let this one go. Heavyweight boxer of the 16 of the 1960s to 1970s, born Cassius Clay, changed his name on conversion to Islam, 
beat Liston for World Championship, refused draft into US Army and was stripped of the title. Interesting. Cleared of charges, returned to beat Foreman, quote, the greatest. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Monty Blank, M-O-N-T space B-L-A-N-C. I don't know who that is. There's a lot of people that this is asking me about. I'm not sure why I would know all these people. Um, Monteblanc. That sounds Swedish. Um, oh, I'm trying to scratch my brain for this. Not scratch, rake my brain. Painter. He might have been a painter. Um, maybe, what's the word term? Expressionist painter? The painter. Artist. No. Not an expressionist painter artist. It's PewDiePie? No. Monty Blank. Oh, it's name. It's like... I've never had to think about this person, so my brain has not built the, the neural pathways. Um, Monteblank. I've read that name. Oh, no, I haven't read that name. I've heard it. Why would I hear that? Why would I hear that name? What context? Okay, I just closed my eyes and tried to think hard, but it's not coming to me. I'm sorry. Mount Blanc in the Alps on the French Italian border is the highest mountain in Europe. Why do you write M O N T instead of M O U N T? That's not fair. Oh, but it says Mont Blanc. Maybe it's a translation thing. Maybe. That's right, Mont does sound French. <laughs> I'm thinking of a person racking my head and then it's just a mountain. All right, that's fair. Colorado. Oh no. Um, a state in the United States. Oh, what's its capital? Missouri? No, that's a state. No, wait, Minneapolis is a state. No, no, this is all cursed. All right, Colorado. What, is, what do Coloradans like? That's what they call themselves. Um, oh no, Colorado. No, that's all I know about. That's all I know. Or is it, no, Colorado is a state. Denver, Colorado. I think the capital is Denver, but that might just be the most populous city. Bordered by New Mexico and Utah. All right, so I'll put, um, Denver is a state in the United States of America, bordering New Mexico and Utah. It's, I can't. Um, bordering New Mexico. I didn't write bordering correctly. I wrote bordering with an E after the bore. Um, its capital is Denver and it borders Utah. Please try again. This is your last chance for 25 points. No, you can't do this to me. Oh no, I have no idea. Um, I don't know. Rocky Mountain State, cities, Denver, Pueblo, Colorado Springs, Colorado River and South Plate River originate here. Piles Peak is famous for its view. The Eastern half is in the Great Plains. A lot of talk about mountains in this game. No, I think Rocky was from something else, like Pennsylvania. I don't know. F Philly. 
Philadelphia. Charleston. Oh, no. That's... I'm trying to think about this, but I keep, like, in the back of my head, I'm hearing, like, um, horrible event. Charleston. Uh, is it a mountain? Charleston. Charleston, Charleston. South Carolina. A city in South Carolina. Yeah, that's all I know. Because that's what Kat has said in the chat. There are two cities named Charleston. Charleston, West Virginia is the state capital. Charleston, South Carolina is a port city. Why would you do that? Why would you have two cities named the same thing? Don't do that. Vice versa. Okay. Um, the same two items, but swapped opposite. Opposite. Okay, that seems to got me most the, the happy faces. You have New York and New England too. Yeah, but doesn't every country have like a New York or New England? It's just part of part of leaving your uh it's like the the white people version of chinatown it's just like new york new england all right additional information for vice versa same two items but swapped opposite is what i wrote um hmm um interchangeable Maybe, I don't know. Vice versa is a Latin expression meaning the other way around. It refers to the order or relationship of something being reversed. We can have lunch first and then take the kids out or vice versa. Which do you think is best? There's a Pura, Arizona and Pura, Illinois, very different cities. Yeah, I mean, they're not in the same state, are they? They'd be different. Bahamas. A group of islands. That's all I know. Formerly a British colony, since 1973 an independent nation in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida. An ar archipelago, archipelago of 700 islands and numerous CAYS, Ks, tiny smaller islands. Largest... That sounds like an anthem. I don't know how you can make anthem noises, but it's like a, it's at the right tempo and has the right kind of, I want to say notes, but there's like how many tones there. You're living for this trash music. Yeah. Um, largest city is Nassau on the new provincial Providence Island famous resort. Infrared radiation. Please enter one line description of the above concept for 100 points. Infrared radiation. Um, that's heat, isn't it? Um, heat radiated from bodies as the result of physical friction or movement. All right, that got me a whole bunch of smiley faces. Um, Infrared radiation is lower frequency or energy than a visible light. Okay, yes, yeah, so it says I'm familiar with it. Invisible long wave form of light, electromagnetic radiation, which is felt as heat, 
All objects radiate infrared radiation. Special cameras taking photos in the infrared show a world of vastly changed in appearance from what we see by light. Makes sense? Yeah, I'm smart. One million IQ today. Metric system. Please enter a one-line description of the above concept for 100 points. A measurement system using powers of 10. Need additional information. Um, the metric system uses powers of 10 rather than 12 as with rather than Imperials 12. The metric system is used outside of the United States. Please try again. This is your last chance for 25 points. What do you want me to say? Um, it's an international standardized set of uh, measurement units. You don't seem to be very familiar with the above concept. No. Metric system, the system of weights and measures used by scientists and people in most of the world except the US. Different units are related to each other by powers of 10. The basic units of the length and mass of the meter and the kilogram respectively. Are you confusing? Oh no, I guess, I guess metric kind of encompasses SI units as well. Warm front. Please enter a one line description of the above concept for 100 points. Warm front. I know there's cold front. But I don't remember what cold front is. Hmm. I would say it would be the front line of a war battlefield. No. Um, it's an area of weather n near fire. Um, warm front would be, I, well, it's warm, not hot. So I guess it picked up weather there, but not fire. Cause it gave me some smiley faces, but not the usual amount. Um, mm. Mm. not sure. Oh, this is hurting my head. Warm front. Clouds. Oh, it's the temperature rise due to humidity. Yes. Meteorology. A front is where two air masses of differing temperature and humidity meet. In a warm front, a warm air mass adventures over a cold air mass, often associated with nimbus stratus clouds and rain. Yeah, so that's why if um, a storm is coming and you feel hot, that's what it is. Congratulations, you have passed Chicken Little 900 points in the list of all time best cultural awareness players. Although we tend to remember Chicken Little only in the negative sense, the fact remains that when she was hit by an acorn, her first thought was to warn her fellow farmyard animals. She was in the middle of playing a cultural awareness game when the incident occurred and was in fact enjoying the second highest score ever achieved by a bird. Indeed, she was within striking distance of breaking the avian record. She was tempted to ignore the acorn and to continue playing on, but her fear got the better of her. Had she set the fear aside and continued to play, not only would she still be alive, dark, but she might have achieved a better score than the Ravens top 995. Alas, never more. Alright. So, okay, the clock's still running, so we'll do a bit more. A bird in the hand... It's a bird in the hand beats one in the bush? I don't know what this means. I've never known what this means. This proverb. It's a proverb, not an idiom. 
whatever the difference between those two are. Um, a bird in the hand beats one in the sand. I don't know. That's it, why? <laughs> I don't think it's it. A bird in the wet hand is worth two in the bush. Getting a small payment now is worth more than po a possibly empty promise of the future riches. Something that you already own has more value than something you might hope to attain. What's the bush about? A bird in the hand, that's a payment or something that you have now, is worth more than a larger payment, which would be two, in the bush. And the bush represents a possibly empty promise of future riches. I don't know. It's confusing to say the least. Totem pole. Totem pole, um... A totem pole is a large pole used for cultural activities. Um, cultural and religious activities. Um, I'm not sure where it's used. Uh, possibly by Native Americans, but I'm also thinking of Eastern, um, Easter Island people. Uh, by Native Americans. You need additional information. Uh, totem poles are decorated and used during rituals. Please type more on the subject. There's nothing more. That's all I have. Since you gave up. Totem pole. Used by Native Americans of the Pacific Northwest, it is a large carved and painted wooden pole depicting animals, gods, and objects revealing the lineage of their household that erected it. That's pretty cool. I should have described what it actually was, not what it uh, had meaning for or who it was used by. All right. Narrabi. Narrabi. That's uh, an island located uh, in the Asia Pacific. No, it's not. I was thinking of something else. Um, it might be in the Bahamas somewhere. I'm just thinking, unless I just mixed up a word in my head. Narrabi. That's definitely either an island country in Africa. That makes sense. The name sounded familiar, but also I'm just thinking about islands all day. All right, I'll pass on that. Capital and largest city of Kenya. It was the center of the terrorist Mau Mau rebellions of the 1950s against Britain, which ultimately led to Kenya's independence. Wait, was that a terrorist thing or not? D what? Is it good or bad or what's happening there? I don't know. Oh, ultimately led to it so it might have just been a trigger or start or something you're very smart yeah but it sounded like it was a, a city in kenya not a country in africa although it might be maybe kenya's i, I don't know i'm just getting more and more ignorant i'm losing knowledge i've lost the knowledge that i just had please enter a one-line description of microwaves um High frequency waves often used to heat up um, food. It's probably good F colonialism. Yeah, 
but it's unclear if it meant like there was some kind of terrorist action that led to it. Um, you're being sarcastic about being very smart country in Africa. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. You could have just taken it. Um, you need uh, additional information, microwaves. Um, microwaves, uh, microwaves are in the ultra high frequency. It's in the gigahertz range of the um, electromagnetic spectrum. Please type more in the subject, about 50 points. I don't know what else to say. Um, I mean, the two examples I can think of are microwaves, which cook food. Um, heat up food rather cooks it from the outside um, and Wi-Fi and those and I guess Bluetooth too and those all use like the 2.5 gigahertz range of um, electromagnetic spectrum um, but that's about it let's see what the game has to tell us Type of electromagnetic radiation similar to light, longer than the infrared waves and shorter than radio waves used in radar and communications. Microwave ovens use kyston, kyston tubes to generate high intensity microwaves to cook foods. I guess I was wrong about it, like not being cooking. And the rest. Bite the dust. Please enter a one line description of the above concept for 100 points. A quote from uh, Queen song, another one bites the dust. No, nothing. Um, maybe um, concept somebody's death. Um, dying. I got no points, but it's like, if you were killed, you were said to, be, to bite the dust, used also to mean being defeated. With a score of 42 to seven against us, we really bit the dust. So it doesn't mean just dying or anything. It means, it specifically means um, being killed or defeated. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Puss in Boots. Um, a fictional cat. Um, a fictional cat. Um, my eyes are just jammed shut trying to think of the word. Um, fictional cat musketeer. Um, I don't know. Where it's from? Hmm. Fictional cat musketeer. That's all it is. It's just Puss in Boots. Oh. He wears boots. Okay, that gave me like one smiley face. That's okay. Um. I don't know anything more. I, the only thing I know Puss in Boots from is like Shrek 2, but this game came out before before the technology that could craft Shrek came onto came into like common use. It was previously reserved for military use, like uh, in tracking ogres and that kind of stuff. It's a fairy tale. That would make sense if it's in Shrek. Puss in Boots is a clever cat who enables his owner to marry a princess. He convinces the king that his owner is the Marquis of Calabas. To accomplish this deception, he needs a castle, which he gets by tricking a rich ogre. Shrek. Shrek wasn't rich. Why would he lie about marrying a princess? What? It's not really great, but okay. Yukon Territory. Oh, um.
an area claimed by the Japanese Yukon gang. No, I, I, I figured, I figured that wasn't it. Cause that's the Yakuza. I just thought they might've, you know, changed it a bit. I'm not sure. Anyone in the chat know what, what this even means? It's in Alaska. Japanese gang territory in Alaska. Um, a location in Alaska. Oh, that got me some smiley faces. Wow, they've globalized, haven't they? Hmm. I don't know. I'll just hit enter. Territory of extreme northwestern Canada borders Alaska, Northwest Territories, Arctic and Pacific Oceans. Famous for the 1896 gold strike near the Klondike River. Yukon River is the third longest in North America. It's after a river. Okay. Bar Mitzvah. No, 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 no. Why? I don't want to answer this one. Can we skip this one? Um, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I guess. Uh, I guess it's uh, Jewish man's coming of age party. All right, I'm going to I'm going to just write out um I believe it's um the Jewish event of infant circumcision. Oh, I don't like how many smiley faces that got. Um newborn children? No. Please just tell me I'm thinking of something else like I'm just going to hit enter. Oh my God. A Jewish religious ceremony for 13 year old boys marking the beginning of their adult religious and social responsibilities. It's a major social event in Jewish families. What was I thinking of? Oh my God. I, I can't. I can't even, I can only odd. Why would I think that? Oh. <laughs> Watch as I die in stream. Okay, real talk. I think I, I only learned that term from watching South Park and it might've got mixed up with all their, their horrible stuff on that. Um, so don't, don't learn things by watching TV. That's the lesson here. Magic carpet. It's going to be hard to move on from that, but we're going to do it. Magic carpet. Please enter a one line description of the above concept for a hundred points. Um, A carpet that flies. Okay, so the Mau Mau uprising was against British rule in Kenya. Pretty cool so far. They had a large population of women fighters, workers, and supporters of the British. And supporters of the British started up concentration camps on par with the Nazis to contain them. That doesn't sound very like... Who are the terrorists there? Jukes don't watch South Park. I Look. I shouldn't have watched South Park, but that's what you do when you're a kid. Just hang out, you watch South Park, and you learn about Jewish culture through there, which is definitely not the right way to do that. But I just, for some reason, I just thought that 
Then, I swear, there's probably an episode that somehow conflates it. Or I... Or my brain misheard something. I'm almost positive that's where I got the wrong idea from. The British were terrorists, like usual. Oh, okay. A carpet that flies... Um... It's a carpet that flies. As a form of transport. You need additional information. What more is there? I guess it was, it was in Aladdin. Featured in the book. No. Was Aladdin around then? I think Disney bases things off territory, off, uh, off fairy tales. The number of deaths attributable to the uprising is disputed. David Anderson estimates 25,000 people died. British demographer John Black's estimate is, is 50,000 deaths. Half of them children aged 10 or below. He attributes this death toll mostly to increased malnutrition, starvation, and disease from wartime conditions. Yeah, that sounds about right. It turns out, well, it turns out taking care of people when you don't care about the people and you expressly don't like treat them as humans is just not going to work out. Even if you're not in tending to do a little bit of genocide. I don't know, dude, it's a magic carpet. Magic carpets appear in Middle Eastern stories such as the Arabian Nights. They can fly and carry people wherever they wish to go. That's interesting. I didn't know the origin was from the Middle Eastern stories. Um, I assumed that was like from Aladdin and the genie and stuff. I guess that could be a form of I don't know if it's cultural appropriation or cultural respects. Appropriation would be where, like, um, you're not allowed to have a magic carpet. You look down upon it and suddenly the white people are like, yeah, like, I got a magic carpet. And everyone's like, cool, you got a magic carpet. And just ignore the Middle Eastern people. Paul Revere's ride. Castration by British troops and denying access to medical aid to the detainees were also widespread and common. Literal genocide. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that is literal genocide. Um, enter a one line description of Paul Revere's ride. Um, a type of, uh, sports car. Um, A ride found at water parks. The log ride found at water parks. No, I don't, I don't know. It's a poem. Poem by Longfellow about a patriot of the Revolutionary War. Paul Revere rode to warm villages of Lexington and Concord that the British troops were coming. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of midnight ride of Paul Revere. Okay. Anopolis. Please enter a one line description of the above concept for a hundred points. I think Anopolis is a place in the United States. It could be a state, but I haven't heard of it. I'm going to say it's a city, city in the United States. Kind of close. Um, because the only thing I think of when I see Anopolis is Cassinopolis. Actually, a woman did that, if you recall correctly. You forgot her name. Um, forgot her name for, for what? Was this about magic carpet appropriation? or Because I literally just forgot what I, uh, the, the previous item I just did. I think it was warning about during the Revolutionary War. Are you saying that a woman warned people during the Revolutionary War and it's being attributed to this, 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 this dude? Oh, I ran out of time on the clock. You distracted me. Okay. Total points. 925. Um, better than Chicken Little. 
better than my first score of 280. But then they have like all these different, like I got 925 there, but then it goes up to like Rip Van Winkle, 1400. The Hair, 2700. God Lux and the Baby Bear, 7500. I'm reading every second one. Then it's, then it's, ah, uh, 13,000, 16,000, 28,000, 44,000, 52,000. How am I supposed to get any of that? Um, so that's all. That's all the DOS games I think I'm going to play for now. Well, there is Subway Sim, so I'll start that in a second, but I do have to be right back. Um, before I finish that, though, I will read what you just wrote. Sibyl Ludington, April 5th, 1961 to February 26th, 1839, was a heroine, heroine of the American Revolu Revolutionary War. On April 26th, 1777, at age 16, she made an all-night horseback ride to alert militia forces in the town of Putnam County, New York, and Danbury, Connecticut, of the approach of British forces. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna... Be right back. I'll see you in a second. All right, I'm back. You want to watch the Mau Mau Uprising videos with me? Why? Why would you ever want that? It sounds really depressing. All right, let's hit up the subway simulator. Uh, it says Subway Simulators. I don't know if I wrote that. I think I might have just been wrong. But it's called Subway Sleuth. Um, let's see. If you cannot read the text in line above, it will have other difficulty with color. Press M for mono. I'm going to go with mono because I feel like this is just going to look horrible if you're colorblind. All right. So, Subway Sleuth. It's a game where you um, try and find clues to get the Kleppelberger diamond back and you navigate through the subway. It's a very simple game. I'll explain it as I go, but let's read this first. You are the famous subway sleuth and director of the Whitestone Museum. Oh, sorry. You are the famous subway sleuth and the director of the Whitestone Museum on M Street has called you to the museum. He says, help. The fabulous 50 Karet Kleppenberger diamond has been stolen. We can't have the police publicity. It must be back in time for the big reception tonight. The quicker you get it back, the bigger the reward be. The thief left a clue. A book of matches with the saying, eat out more often. You're not colorblind, but that was awful. Yeah. Okay, so we have our clue. It's a book of matches with the saying, eat out more often. And we're presented with a little screen that says Whitestone Museum and has a picture of the subway that you can go. Uh, we're on M Street. We can go to the subway, downtown, uptown, or search for clues. We don't have any new clues here. So we're going to look at the map or directory and see if we can think about where the clue eat out more often would line up with. I guess Delicatessen, that sounds like a food shop. Um, let's see. So Delicatessen is on D Street and we're on M Street. Um, so what we're gonna do is we wanna go as fast as possible to the D Street. Um, and so the two trains that kind of run in the subway is the normal train system and also the express system. And the trade-off there is that uh, the express stops are only um, like every four or five um, letters. R, restaurants, that's true. So let's try and go to R. So there's not really an express way to get to it. So we're just going to take the, I guess, uptown, um, subway and get on it and go to R. So we're boarding the train and we're just going to get to, we're going to wait a little bit. 
that's n straight. We were just on m, so mn. Um, this is going to take a little bit to get to r. We can exit the train at every stop. It says Alphabet Avenue Rapid Transline, Transit Line, no spitting, $500 fine, Uptown Local. Q Street, let's get to the R Street. All right, so let's exit to the street and do a search for a clue. A deposit slip. In a potted palm plant near the Matriator station, you find a deposit slip. All right, let's uh, look at the map of directory. Banks. That's all the way up in B Street. Uh, and we need to get to an express train. So we're gonna have to go from R to Q, then all the way to A, then to B. Oof. All right, let's get in the train now. All right, R. Then Q, now we wait for the express train. Um, is that the express train? No, that seems to be across, across from where we are. This is the express train. It's, it went past us. Why, what happened? Oh my God, we have to get to O, not Q. Uh, all right, we got to get to we got to get to O. This is cool. It's a fairly simple game, but it has a nice aesthetic. I just watched the express train go past us. Can I go onto the back of it? All right, come on. We got to get to to O. I think P, not P. O Street, all right. Now let's get the Express. Next train due, one second, zero. That's not an Express one. And so this game is more like a, a focused on speed about doing things. Next train, two seconds. Express, let's hop in. And now we just zoom past all the way to A Street. N Street, right past it. M Street. L. God, it had to be the bank. We've got to go use our deposit slip at the bank. I, no, we're not going to get off at the I station. We're going to get off at the A station. H G F we're getting close. I think D is another express one. No, E is garbage streets. No, don't say that. C B A, okay, let's get off. End of line, all out. All right, so it just kicks me out. Okay, now we go up, search for a clue. No new clues, I just did that anyway. So we need to go uptown, then catch the subway. Um, and then we, we catch this subway, then we get to B Street. We watch the express train. We don't want the express train, we want the regular train so we can get to B. Yeah, so low is local train. It says uptown local or uptown express. Oh, B street, enter to exit the train. Okay, search for clues. A pair of ticket stubs, seats E15 and E17 in the mezzanine. mezzanine. All right, would that be theater? T Street for theater. All right, back to A Street. We're gonna go to A Street, then get to the A Express to U. 
um, wait, yeah, downtown. Let's get to A, then to um, U. Come on, we can do this. Watch the express train go by. Why? Why are there so many trains? Okay. On the train, the subway, whatever it is. Uh, end of line, all out. Then we want to go uptown on the express. Wait, is it downtown or uptown? Yes, it's uptown. Train's good. Yeah, train's okay. Okay, grab the express train. So we're waiting till we get to, I think it was P I said. Come on, we need to find this diamond. No, not E Street. F. G. H. I. I Street. J K L M N O P Q R S. So it might be P Q R S T U. I think it was you, maybe. Yawning with the boys? Yes. Come on. N Street. O Street. Oh, uh, no, we're gonna go to the next one. And I'm P Q R S T U. I think it was you that we were going for because the theater was just up from there. Watching the, the T Street go by, knowing we have to catch frigging local train. Yeah, U Street, end of the line, all out. So we go up, then we're gonna go downtown. And then we're gonna grab the local um, to T. And then we're going to hopefully find a clue. And so the game is basically kind of just this. It's a fetch quest. All right, we're on the train. Got to get to T Street. T Street. All right. Search for clues. We found the diamond in 10 minutes and our reward is $10. Are you kidding me? Good game, you love it. It's a chill game. All right, so the other time I found it in 3.3 minutes and 40 seconds and I got almost four grand. So I think I've messed up there. Let's try again. Okay, Clumper Casualty. Is that in K Street? Clumper Casualty. Office buildings would be on O, we're on M, so let's go down. Uh, let's go uptown and catch the train to the, to the O Street, huh? Get to them office buildings. <sighs> Sleepy subway days. Okay, search for clue. No new clues on the office street. Um, excuse me? Clumper casualty. Where would that be? It's not here. It's not the office building. Clumper casualty. 
Um, I guess we could check out What is a casualty? Is that a grocery store? Would you name your grocery store Clumper Casualty? It might be an insurance agency. So let's go from O to I. Because that's on the express anyway. Yeah, it does sound like an insurance agency. Okay, on the express train, shaking in anticipation. Okay, I Street. Search for clues. A laundry ticket. All right, we need to get to the launders, which is cleaners, which is C Street. So we're going to have to go um, up to uh, downtown on the express to A Street. <laughs> Game hype. Just death. Just radio silence. Come on, we can do this. I can do this. All right, we've got to get to that A street. This is pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, it's a pretty decent game. It seems more like a bit of a tech demo. But it really depends on what you could, uh, E street. Oh yeah, I'm on the right one. It seems more just like a simple thing that someone's made. $500 fine for spitting. Okay, A Street, we're all out. We're gonna go downtown, yeah, uptown to C Street. I want to think there's depth here. It's got a papers please vibe. Does it? Okay, we're waiting for the local train. In we go to C Street. B Street. C Street, up we go, search for a clue. A deposit slip, that's on the bank. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go downtown and then go to, go to B. Gotta grab the subway to B Street to get to the bank. Come on, it's the express. I hate the express. Okay, this is it. In we go. B Street. Oh no, 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 I got back in the train. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Um, okay, that's fine. We just have to go uptown now to B Street. Oh, run ruined. That's what I'm saying in my head. Mm. I'm not going to get on the express train. Don't do that to me, trains. Come on, I just want to get to the bank. A. B. Out we go. Up we go. Search. I found the diamond, five minutes, 37 seconds, reward, two grand, $6,025.43. Hmm. I don't know why they would put the diamond there. I'm not sure if I should go again. Um, 
I might try again. I have a receipt for the copy of Star Wars. Okay, we need to go to the video store. V, we're at M, so we're gonna have to catch um, uptown to O, then to U, then to V. Here's the express here. We're not on the express. All right, so we need to get to the express. So let's get on the local, then we get to O. Um, this could be just a lot of RNG anyway. Because like, it could just be bad luck. Um, oh yeah, Uptown Subway. It could be bad luck if you get something that's like, um, taking you all the way to Z and then back to A. Was it P Street we're going to? Oh no. It was probably the last one. U Street, I think, yeah. Oh, I hit escape twice. Oh, I'll do one last try. Okay. Eat out more often. So we got to go to restaurants on R. So we're just going to go on the train to R. Let's go uptown. We're not going to use the express here. I feel like that might be a strategy that this game uses. Because you have to wait for the train. O Street. I think that's an express. P Street. Then there's going to be Q Street and R Street. And then we're going to get our clue and then we're going to know where to go. Enter, exit, search. One for broom 413 and one for the file cabinet. So that would possibly be a hotel. Um, motel. H for hotel, motel. Restaurant. I don't see anything. It might be an office building. Um, let's go back to O and have a check. It could be a warehouse. Let's assume that it is O. Um, let's go downtown. Just having a set of keys, one for a room 413 and one for a file cabinet seems a bit odd for like anything else that isn't an office. But I keep wanting to go to the office, I guess. So we're going to get to the Oh, that's Q, not going to get there. P, we're almost at O Street. Let's go up, search for clues. A lid of, from a carton of strawberry blast. That would be the grocery store, I believe. That wouldn't be a restaurant thing. That would be like a grocery store. So we're gonna have to go on the express up to E. Come on, up to E. Yeah, because you get Strawberry Blast from like the grocery store, right? Did they spell it wrong? 
Strawberry Blast. Yeah, you said that in chat. I just realized now. Wow. I'm losing it. A Street up. Um, uptown. And let's get to the next train. It might be a yogurt shop too. Don't say that. Don't say there's a yogurt shop in this game. No. No, don't tell me I'm going to the wrong store. No, please don't say that. No, this is definitely where the clue is. No, no clues. I have to go to the yogurt shop? Oh, okay. We're going downtown. Why? We're gonna have to get off of the express, which I think is, is it F street? I think it was I street. E street, that's where it was. Okay, and let's go uptown. And let's grab the express. Come on. And we're going to head on to the end of the line. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me, Kaz? Why did you not tell me? How could you not? I went all the way to the, to the grocery store. I went to G Street. You know how far that is from Y Street? I mean, the clock's ticking. We're at M Street right now. I don't think they even, they don't even have to express the Z street. Why are you winking, smiling at me? I hate it. I wanted this to be a quick run. And no, I'm not going to learn to be a pro speed runner for this game. Come on, let's get in the freaking train. We go to Y Street. V Street, no thank you. X Street and then Y Street, hopefully. W, X, Y. X. Y Street, up we go. We found it, six minute, 54 seconds. Reward is $1,850. You order a container of strawberry blast and find inside. So this yogurt shop had, had the diamond in strawberry, whatever, okay. Hmm. So I didn't do much better there. Let's do one more. All right, let's say clue, Fruit Loops. That would be at the grocery store, definitely. So let's go down to O and then up to E. Um, wait, up to O, yeah. Let's get to O Street. And this is going to be the last one, but this is going to be a perfect run. O Street, go up. We're going to go downtown now. And we're going to get the express here, hopefully.
Yeah, this should be the express. We're gonna go up to E and then we're gonna go uptown to G for the grocery store. 10 out of 10 run? No, you don't understand. I don't want my best run to be just an accident I did when testing the game. That'd be horrible. I Street? Yeah, we're not gonna stop here. Don't even joke about it. No spitting, $500 fine. How could you? All right, we're nearly at E Street. We're gonna run out. Um, we're gonna go up and we're gonna go uptown and then we're gonna, yeah, we have to wait for the express train to go past there in the back. Cause I was using the local, the local, ah, uh, wait, no. That was the express train. Did I just, uh, was that just not gone yet? Okay, Fruit Loops, we've got to get to the G Street. E, F, come on, nearly at G Street. I think there's only two clues in the game. The first one you start with, then another one. Enter, search for clues, deposit slip. All right, we've got to get up to, we've got to go um, uh, downtown on the express all the way up to A, then get to B. Um, so I think this is getting near the end of this game. Hopefully. E Street, no, we wanna to get to, I wanted to get to E Street. Oh no, run ruined. Okay, we're just gonna to have to get to well, we're going to get to B Street. I guess this might be faster, actually. I'd have to time how long it takes. Okay, up we go. Search for clue. Tell Superman his glasses are ready. I guess that's the cleaners. Video store, warehouses. That would have to be cleaners. There's no O for optometrists. Um, but why would you send your, why would Superman, no, don't do this, don't do this. We're going to go down to C. Um, come on, let's just get to C and maybe that'll make sense. Yeah, watch the express train go by. Absolute trash. Throwing a wrench in my run like this. Tell Superman his glasses are ready. All right, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna win the game. No new clues. So where could they be? Delicatessen, bank, antique, fire station, grocery store, hardware store, insurance, jewelry store. It's not at the jewelry store, is it? Okay, we're gonna have to go down to E and take the express. I don't like how uptown and downtown are kind of mixed. Like you would think uptown would take you kind of back up the alphabet, like backwards, but that's what downtown does. Oh, it says Uptown Express next to it. That's pretty cool. E Street, and we're going to J. So we can actually see kind of where the route is. So F Street, that's just downtown. It's a local, Uptown local. G Street, this is a Uptown local one. H, Uptown local.
I, that's Uptown Express. I think maybe J is, yeah, J is just Uptown Local. Okay, search. No clues here. What? Don't do this to me. Tell Superman to find his, his glasses already. Is that an office thing? Newspapers. That's the only thing I could think of. Oh no, x-ray supply store? Are you kidding me? Not again. Okay, we're gonna go downtown. We're gonna go to this x-ray supply store. Cause that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Absolutely trash. Head back to I Street and then take the express all the way down to O Street or wherever it goes. <sighs> it's a stressful game. Way too stressful. It's already taken way too many minutes. Off we go. So we're getting to the, the last one, then we're gonna catch the, uh, the local uptown all the way to the x-ray store, which I assume is where Superman's glasses are because you know, x-ray glasses, Superman x-ray. That makes sense, right? Tell me I'm not insane here. end of the line. So we're just going to take the regular train down. I'm, a, I'm never insane. Why did I just see the express go uptown now? It, it shouldn't do that. Okay. Did I miss the local train? V Street. W. All right, so the next one's gonna be X and that's where the diamond's gonna be, hopefully. Eight minute, 56 seconds, 634.88. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that's enough for today. I think that's enough streaming. I think that's enough stress. Let's look at the documentation here just to see if there's anything interesting. By Steve Herring, 1991. Let's see. Anything interested? So it's interesting to be using like random stuff for this. So it uses data files. Yeah, I think we got everything. Um, just from playing. This game has strawberry blast, don't worry about it. Um, and let's, for completeness, read the documentation of the horse game too. Um, who for the dog? Yeah, humili humiliating plea for money. This is from 95. Um, graphic files.
brief description for BBSs. Accuracy. Um, play around 50. Oh, so the speed there is also to handle the speed of the game itself on faster machines. Hoofbiter is actually a translation to PC of a game I wrote for the TI-85 calculator. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching the stream. I'll see you next time.